What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for using Lumion LifeSync in SketchUp. Let's get started. So what is Lumion LifeSync? Lumion LifeSync is a plugin that lets you sync your SketchUp model to Lumion so that you can work on both models simultaneously. This feature is also available for Revit and ArchiCAD, but I will focus on SketchUp in this video. Let's start with the installation. To install it, first open up your SketchUp model and go to the extension warehouse. Then search Lumion LifeSync and download, then install it. If you use Revit or ArchiCAD, then follow these links here. Another way to install the plugin is to open up a browser and go to this link. Then download the plugin, and in SketchUp, you can open the extension manager to install it. Now that the plugin is installed, let's launch it. But first, we need to launch Lumion. Next, I'm going to choose one of these scenes. I have to choose this one. Then I want to set the window side by side, so first, I'm going to go to settings and exit full screen mode. Now I can place the Lumion window on the right and the SketchUp window on the left like so. Then I can exit the settings in Lumion. Now on the Lumion LifeSync toolbar, I can press this button here to start LifeSync. As you can see, when you turn on this plugin, it will automatically import the SketchUp model into Lumion. And if you move the camera in SketchUp, Lumion will automatically adopt the camera perspective. If you have multiple monitors, you can place the SketchUp window on one monitor and the Lumion window on the other monitor like so. Or if you're doing a presentation, you can place the Lumion window on a projector screen. With LifeSync, you can make changes to your SketchUp model and it will update immediately in Lumion. For example, I can move objects or I can even hide and unhide objects and it will be reflected in Lumion. This just makes your work a lot easier and faster. Instead of using LifeSync on an existing model, I can also start with a blank SketchUp model and then import components or models from the 3D warehouse like so. After that, I can make changes such as deleting these trees in SketchUp and adding trees in Lumion. Or changing SketchUp materials to Lumion materials to make it more realistic, such as adding IVs on these walls or changing the ground material. Also, any changes that I make in the materials in SketchUp will be reflected in Lumion as well. Now let's go back to my main model. For this model, I actually worked on it already and I have a finished Lumion file saved here. So I'm going to open it. As you can see, it is not syncing anymore. But since this model was synced to the same SketchUp file with the same name, I can just click here to restart the Lumion live sync. And now it's syncing again. When you save the SketchUp model as a new file under a different name, it will also stop the Lumion LifeSync function. To reconnect the two models, first, you will need to start LifeSync again. When you do this, it might start syncing, but there might be some errors like this. To fix it, select the imported model in Lumion. You can see that it's disconnected. So just click this button here to reconnect it. And there we go, now it's syncing again. As mentioned before, Lumion will automatically adopt SketchUp camera perspective. A cool tip when using LifeSync is that you can play with the field of view to create interesting views. First, click on the zoom icon in SketchUp. Now change the field of view by typing in a number. For example, I can type in 60 and press enter for a wider angle perspective. Or I can type in 1 and press enter for a field of view that's similar to a parallel perspective. Pretty cool, huh? Another cool trick that helps your model look even better is to build with effects. First, go to Photo in Lumion. Now you can add any effects that you want here. I just click here and choose one of Lumion's preset. Then I can click on this button here to build with effects. You can see that now the model looks even better in Lumion. However, the field of view seems a little off. So let's go back and double click this slider, then change the field of view to 35. And press this button again. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? I actually have created my own presets here, so I'm going to use them. One is for daytime, and the other one is for nighttime. Remember that you can always unsync the camera by clicking on this button here. Now you can move around in SketchUp without affecting the camera view in Lumion. This is great for when you want to make changes in a model while looking at the camera view of the final image. 
And that's how you can use Life Sync to make your work better and faster in Lumia. That's all for today guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment below if you have any questions. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.